Welcome back, everyone. For those that don't know, I'm Stock Mo, and I am here to bring you a pretty cool video. We're going to talk about how to retire early, and that could be the, the simplest as financial independence, retire early, or any of the other methods. But a lot of these different methods, they include a few steps, which we're going to cover. And on top of this, when it comes to understanding how to retire early, I'm going to be showing you the calculators of how much money you need and how you can save it and how quickly you can become not just a millionaire, but a multi-millionaire. And I got to tell you, for those that don't know my story, I want to start this video out a little bit different. I want to share my adventure into how I was able to retire early. And for those new to the channel, you're going to want to hit the subscribe button. I'm an old financial educator, uh, financial advisor. I taught in high school and college level classes, all these good things. And now I do this YouTube thing and I love it. And I try to bring the education to the masses. With all that being said, though, I was in a classroom about three years ago, not even three years ago roughly that. And uh, I got to tell you, I was doing everything I could to retire early. And at one point, I thought we were going to be pretty close to doing that. And for those who are wondering, there are many pitfalls. Even if you are doing the Financial Independence Retire Early program, you can run into a brick wall like we did. Who's we? Me and the missus, of course. Mrs. Mo over at the Patreon. For those who are over there, if you haven't, join down below. Follow my portfolios, my buys and sells in the private Discord thousands of members come over and see why but with that being said she came down with stage three cancer and i gotta tell you it broke us it took all our savings the insurance you're like well insurance covers it doesn't it mo well it covered some but a lot of the stuff we did were out of network that wasn't covered the bills the transportation hotel rooms everything and she couldn't work so it cut her income it was it was drastically different and it just wiped her savings away we had kids going to uh, school. We had one going to college. It, it was uh, it was something. It was something. You know, let's just say that. Now, the good news for everybody listening, thinking, wow, she had stage three cancer. Yeah, the doctor gave me a, a percentage of her chance to live when we got down to Hershey, PA, the medical center, and it was in the teens. And at the end of the day, she beat it. But of course, you know what? We both looked at each other and said, it looks like we're going to be working a lot longer than we expected. The kids, like I said, were starting to get to the age to go to college. And our bills were starting to get big. And I had three kids for those wondering, can you retire early? I'm not even in my 50s yet. And I am already retired. And I've been retired for a while. Now, what's retirement though? And what I mean by this is retirement to me is I don't answer to anybody. I do what I want, when I want, and with whoever I want. We can go out and have fun anytime. And I don't have to ask. It is what we want to do. And so if that's retirement to you, and I still do my videos, I enjoy it. And it, it gets to that point of, uh, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life. I am at that point. I love coming on with the community. I love coming on to YouTube. I love going out and meeting people and just talking shops, stocks, different programs, credit, all of it, you name it. I love discussing it when it comes to uh, personal finance. Now, now that we got that covered, there are some things out there, I gotta tell you, and we're gonna get into all the things you need to know to do this, but when I stopped working, there were some massive changes that you need to be ready for. And the first one is this, you have done it. Congratulations, pop the cork, and enjoy it. But remember this, once you're done working, it's just you and your significant other, and you, maybe you have some kids, maybe you don't. But then, at that time, you got to have something to do. Uh, boredom can kick in very quickly, and boredom can lead to depression. You got to have something to do. You don't have your coworkers to talk to anymore. You find out who your true friends are because if you're not going to work and they're going to work, but you want to do things, it's just not as simple as it, it seems. Okay. And so I would tell people to have hobbies, have places you can volunteer at, or do something like I did. Get on YouTube, create some different channels and talk, take the things you love and the things that you were a master at and do a video on it and start doing lots of videos and build your own community and have it connected to Discord and all these other good things. And maybe even then you can even make some money while you're enjoying your newfound freedom of retirement and financial freedom. It comes down to that. Now, what do you need to do? 
you know, and we talk about the whole financial independence and retire early or any other plan to get you retired. But one of the main things, you can see this. Here's seven widely popular steps. Figure out how much money you need to retire. Are you 25? Are you 35? 45? 55? 65? Each age is going to need a certain amount of money. If you're trying to retire in your 20s or 30s, you're going to need a lot more money or be hugely frugal for the rest of your life. It's going to be a combination of both the younger you are uh, because you got to be careful. And I'll talk about this. Cut back on your three biggest expenses. Are you buying a home? Are you in a home that's a million dollars when you can be in a home that's 25 to 50,000? You know, do not become entrapped by your home, your mortgage, and your taxes to your home. Are you living in the best area that you can possibly live in? You want the best cars and all this? Well, it makes it very hard to retire early, my friend. And that's one of them conversations you got to sit down with. Whoever's in the family spending money, making money, you got to be a team on this. If you are not a team, if you are not in this together, it makes it practically impossible for you to hit those goals if one person is secretly or openly spending tons of cash. If they're out there spending money like it's water because we deserve to have fun. I work all week and I deserve to do whatever I want. It's only one $6 coffee a day. Well, that starts to add up. If you have 200 and something work days a year, now we're talking could be $1,500 to $2,000 in coffee just because they deserve it. And I'm not trying to have Starbucks retire early. I'm trying to retire early. And so these are the things you got to agree on. Increase and diversify your income streams. I can't tell you how important this is. This is what got me to be able to retire early. There's a lot of different things here. This is the one. I would argue that this is the most important one you are going to do. Increase and diversify your income streams. We all have that. The main income stream, that's the nine to five. Some people are working 10, 12 hours a day. That's the main stream. But I'm going to say this. You need to dedicate an hour or two a day, every day, to your side hustle. Whatever the hustle is or hustles are, you need to dedicate time to it. You need to get to the point that you have money coming in that you are working for yourself, whatever it is. It can, you know, and you always have the passive income of dividend investing, which we talked about. I had a video before this one. We talked about some of the best dividend stocks to buy now. But this, I got to tell you, when you're looking to retire early and how to retire early, I'm going to tell you this. And from the bottom of my heart, I mean this. This is the most important part of that. I don't care what program you're looking into. You can do the financial independence, retire early. You can do some of the other the, the snowball effects where we're paying off the higher credit and then we're moving down. Any, any of these methods. But I'm going to tell you this. It helps to have more money coming in and continuing to work towards that goal, not just doing your nine to five and that's it and spending 18, you know, eight hours at work and then 16 hours doing whatever you want. How about eight hours at work and then three, four, five hours on your own personal business so you don't have to do the eight hours anymore? And that's what I did. I obviously have uh, started the YouTube channel as well as some other different streams of income and the YouTube channel paid off to the point that now I'm retired and I can do whatever I want, like I said, in any time and all kinds of things. If there's anything you want to know about what I had to do, anything, put it down below. When are you trying to retire? How many more years? How much are you trying to save? Let's talk about it in the comments. I'll come down, down and answer these and you can just share your story. Have you been successful with retiring early? How old were you when you retired early? What pitfalls did you run into? Boredom, running out of money. Did this inflation crush your plans? Not that you had to go back to work, but it crushed it because I'm going to show you some things. In the calculators I use, it says, what is the inflation rate? I put in what the Fed does, 2%. Maybe you put in three. Last year, we were close to 10%. When you have that kind of inflation in bills, healthcare, food, everything's going higher, eh, you're in some big trouble. You're in some big trouble. And especially if you plan, you didn't plan for that. And the market drops 10, 20%. So now the money coming in smaller if you have dividends and your bills are higher. And so, wow, we got to watch out for that. Uh, the next thing we got into, of course, set your savings goals. How much are you going to save? 
30%, 50%. Now the financial independents retire early. They like to look at this between 50 and 70%. I've read different numbers. At the end of the day, it is extreme frugality and you are saving as much as you can. And that is a true sign of the, of the FIRE method. Uh, all right, create a simple investing strategy. Now I've talked about these and this could be as simple as the 60-40, 60% into equities. And I always like personally, I don't tell you what to buy and sell, but I do like VOO It is an S&P 500 index fund, has a cost of only 0.03% management fee, one of the lowest in the industry. And you could put 60% of your funds in there and then 40% into something like BND, that is bond. And that is a total uh, bond fund which you can put 40% into there. It should average, I would personally think, over this year or next year, about 6%. And then you can get out there and do some research and see where the markets go and what we can expect long-term. That's a pretty safe investment, in my opinion. You can be more aggressive, but you definitely want to come up with something. And as you get closer to retirement, you got to be a little bit more safe with your money. And that's where you, maybe you need to live off the income and you want it all in bonds and this and that. But that's something you got to look into. Fast track your early retirement plan by investing more. What did I just say? 50 to 70% for the very aggressive. For those that can't do it, can you cut back? Remember right here, step two, cut back on your three biggest expenses. Is the house too much? Is there too many brand new cars? Are you eating out too much? What are you doing that you don't have to do? All right, and track your savings rate and net worth. Keep, if you write it down, it is easier to follow. If you go out there, keep track of it, put it in a spreadsheet. I put it in a spreadsheet. It's fun to watch. You can see how it's doing. The reports come in every single day from the stock market. You can watch your accounts. You can have a little bar graph, whatever you want. But the fact is, if you're actually writing it down, you're keeping track of it, it's better for you. And that to me is one of the biggest things. Now, I wanted to talk about this because I had some questions in the Discord. We had we talk about retiring early. One of the methods, financial independence, retire early. FIRE is a financial movement defined by frugality and extreme savings and investment. Uh, by saving up to 70% of their annual income, and that's up to 70%. FIRE proponents aim to retire early and live off a small withdrawal. What are the withdrawals? The FIRE followers withdraw 3 to 4% annually. And that, so you can figure that out. If you do 4%, you're taking out 0.25% every month. Okay. And so your goal is to hopefully get a return above that. And so the, the, the overall money continues to grow at the same time as you taking money out. Uh, and detailed planning, economic discipline, and wise investment are key components in achieving a FIRE retirement. Now, the nice thing about that is once you get to retirement, you're going to have a lot more time to keep an eye on your investments. Make sure you're not in the over risky categories. Make sure you're doing things right. And you can you can do that. Now, others look at the FIRE movement as this. What is it? And you can see um, we'll make this a little bigger. Fire is a movement, and they say 50% or more here. So like I said, there's a lot of open definitions. Many followers also go by the rule 25. 25 times, and you want to save 25 times your annual expenses to retire, and then the 4% rule, drawing 4% or less, if you can, per year. Uh, millennials like fire, and of course, because of the strict expense cuts, it may not work for everyone. If you got bills, you got lots of kids who want to go to school, you got to take care of, you got to look at it. But look, check this out. You can say you reach the fire finish line once your savings can cover your expenses post-retirement, ready for this, with inflation factor in. I told you when we talk about uh, financial independence, retire early, that you got to take inflation into consideration. The problem is, did you take into consideration 10%, 6%, 5%, 6% this year? You can't. It's tough. You don't expect that to happen. All right. And how long is this going to happen? How, is the Fed going to get things under control? Are we going to be able to drop inflation back down in their key, their their goal of 2%? I don't know. And no one knows. Remember, at one time, the Fed came out and said it was going to be transitory and everything was going to be fine. And so we definitely, it's hard to go ahead and do these retirement methods when the information we're using to guide us when it comes to inflation and other things 
isn't there. And did you get a 10% or higher raise last year to beat inflation as you're saving money? Most people, the answer was no. And so you actually lost purchasing power. And a lot of the bills continue to go higher, including health care. Well, if you had certain costs that you had for that, now it seems like it's higher. Cars went higher. Food went higher. Oh, it was ugly. Now, I'm going to show you, though, something. I'm going to get you hyped up by the end of this video, and we start right now. Now, as we take a look at this, 55600 is the average salary that you can expect in the U.S. right now. I know some people make more, some people make less. This is just one person, but then I came over here. And I put all that information in. Remember, this is just 25 years. So if you're 30, you can be 55. If you're 20, you can be 45. These change, but you can update it. But I put it in for a 25-year-old making 55640 and they have nothing in their 401k. They are going to contribute 40%. I need to do 50 to the 70%. I just did 40. So if you're actually willing to put in more, it's going to be better for you. Nothing from your employee. Uh, your employer match and your limit but if you get that that makes this even better and then of course i put down that you're going to retire at age 50. how about we retire early mo you can you can save more you can do other things remember what i said about that extra income uh life expectancy let's put 85 and you're going to get three percent annual increase in your in your raise hopefully get more but we'll put that in and expected annual return 10.6 10.6 mo yeah well that's the average return on the S&P 500 since we added 500 stocks to it. And so to me, I'm just going to go with what it is said. And we'll go from there. Expected inflation rate 2%. That's the Fed's goal. I'm going to hit calculate. And I'll show this as it comes up here. And you guys can see what's going on. And as you can see, you got a retirement of $2.9 million. Now, I know what a lot of people say. Well, that's not taking inflation into consideration. Yeah, I did right here. 1.8 million. You're still a millionaire. You'll have real money of 3 million. Spend the money in today's amount of 1.8. If I gave you 1.8 million today, that's what this is going to be like then. If there's two of you, you will have almost $6 million between you, you and a spouse, and 1.8 times 2, 3.6 million in today's dollars. Now, this is the beauty of this. How much money can we take out using this? It, this is only 40%, uh, 26,000 per month of, of that money, but in today's purchasing power, 16,000. If there's two of you, that's $32,000 that you can take out in today's spending every month. I don't know who needs $32,000 a month to survive and just have fun in life. But that's what you get if you do this. That means for a lot of people, as you look at this, uh, you're going to be able to retire early. And that means all of, you can keep spending. But it does the purchasing power does drop over time as you get older. And most people don't need as much money as you get older because you're not going to be traveling and doing all these things as a younger people. Uh, a lot of people you get older just kind of want to stay home and relax. And so that'll be up to each person. And, of course, I do show the schedule here, which shows you the money going in, interest, and as you go up, look how much money you start making off your money. Your money starts working for you. The longer you wait, the more money you get. And then you start taking money out and you can see it dropping. And as you get down there, uh, by the time you hit 85, there's not a penny left. And so, my friends, I wanted to make sure you were well aware of how this works and where you can go. I believe there's some good things moving forward. The financial independence, retire early. You can do all kinds of things. Pay off the, the, the expensive. People always say, what would you do if you were had some debt? This, that, and the other thing, Mo. I believe in paying off the highest paid, uh, the highest interest rate loan that you have besides the house. So if you got credit cards, 20%, pay them off first. And then if you have a car after that, student loans, so everything, remember, Take into consideration if you get a tax break on some of this stuff. But whatever the highest interest rate is what you want to pay off. And then uh, get all that debt paid off. And then remember, if you believe you can get over what the interest rate is in the stock market, well, that that'd be that could be something you can sit down and discuss. We can talk about it. I always like hearing about these different situations and trying to come up with a plan to make sure that you can retire early. So hopefully I answer the question of how to retire early. Based on different ages, we can talk about it. Each situation is unique. But I have to tell you, I enjoy being able to call my own shots. I want to hear your stories if you are going to retire early or if you got to work till you're 80. I get it. I get it. Uh, it it's something 
that we definitely need to plan for. And if you got advice for anybody younger, maybe you're older like I am and you want to tell some people who are younger some advice, share it now. This is the community to do for. And I want to tell you, I told you I'd do something for you. I told you I'd get you some free stocks today. And that's what I'm doing. Down below, Moo Moo right now, using my link in the description, 17 free stocks. If you deposit, and this is where you can buy some of the stocks, your ETFs, your BND and your VOO I talked about, put $100 in, they'll give you seven free stocks using my link. Five of them are worth up to $2,000 apiece, plus two AI draws, seven stocks guaranteed. A $1,000 deposit or more gets you 15 free stocks worth up to $2,000 apiece, plus two AI draws for 17 stocks. And of course, Weeble down below, you can buy fractional shares of VOO and BND. I believe you can get in there, and they also have crypto. Uh, but you get up to 12 shares of stock worth up to $30,600 altogether. You only have to deposit a dollar more. So take advantage of both of them. Start your journey to early retirement now and just have a good time. Then come on over and join me at the Patreon down below. Uh, you can join us and be a part of our private Discord, see the portfolios I have, and of course, all the buys and sells. I appreciate you stopping by. Well, let's get out there and make some money.